Hi guys and welcome to the next video. Today we're going to be playing with a Matchbox King Size Fru Health Hopper. Probably just murdered the pronunciation and I do apologise. It's a number K4 and it's made by Lesney. Okay, so it's the cab. It's not a bad nick actually, it's quite play worn. But everything's there, it seems pretty decent. Windows are alright and what have you, all the tyres are on. Yeah, it's not too bad this one. So there's the rear. The shutters at the bottom, all in order, all working. And on the trailer, it's the same setup basically. A little hook on the front of the trailer, hook still in position. Again, shutters. This one has the little dolly on it. Okay, so just getting it drilled and split open. Get these tyres off. And there's a little tub ready to be um, put through its little spin cycle in the wash machine. I was expecting half of these to be broken, to be honest. But, um, Turned out every one of them were fine. Mm. Little wiggle there. As I say, I pre drilled these, so just in case of splitting it. So we've got the uh, the base plate. So drop it. It's all nice and straight. Just needs a little clean. Then we've got little suspension inside. So it's not too bad. It's a little bit of a bend in it, but no, that can't be fixed. It's just a little tweak. Yeah, we've got the window unit inside, it needs um, drilling out there. So, get the drill on that in a second. Right, time for the first one. Wheels off. This apart. A little bit of gentle persuasion. So it's got the normal drill uh, post on that you drill, but it's also got like a rivet. There we go, that you see at the front there. It's got like a really thick rivet. So it was um, putting up a little bit of a fight, but they come off easy enough. Safekeeping. Yeah, so there's the little chassis. It's not too bad, not to it really. And then we've got the hopper. Little shutter doors. All nice and straight as well, actually, so it's a bonus. Let's see what this one entails. Wheels off again. Same procedure. This one's giving a little bit of a bow, it doesn't want to come off. Just a little bugger. There you go. Seems like an endless chore, this. The amount of bloody ties on this thing is ridiculous. Come on, buddy. Off you pop. There you go. Let's get this one split open now. 
same drill again, in we go. Get it behind this big rivet this time. Come on, you know you want it open. Actually, it didn't drill the, the dolly. There's a little, um, another little post there. So let's get these doors off so we don't lose them. Let's get the drill out. Just to secure the rivers, it was spinning at the same time. I was trying to drill it, so it makes it a bit awkward. I might as well do this window while I'm here now. Carefully not to go through the top and into my finger. Certainly putting up a fight, this little car is in this cabin. Come on. Right, let's have another one. I'm trying my best not to crack this window. I might actually um, give it another little go with the drill. Might have gone deep enough actually. Just clear off a few of the bears inside in a second under the lock. Yeah, definitely needs another drill. I'm sorry I've done this here, it's just, it's a bit awkward to do, like trying to show it in front of the camera, so I just thought just for the sake of this bit, I'll just quickly do it a bit closer to me. I've got a single feeling, I'm, I'm going to crack this, you know, it's a metal screwdriver, so I've got a little tool that I used a while back when I was, um, Changing the mobile phone screen. So I'm gonna get hold of that and use that. And at least then it won't crack the window, you know, so that's what I'm getting here now, this little tool. It's basically a small plastic crowbar, that's what it looks like. It's like hooped and flat at either end. It's a cracking little gizmo. You can be a little bit more forceful, but it's more forgiving, you know, it seems to absorb the, um, the tension rather than smash the glass or crack a screen or it's intended for. Get right underneath it here. It's putting up a proper little fight this window though. And there she is. Finally. Yeah, you can see the inside it's got like the rivets and it spins. So I'll um I'll 
mounted off camera. But yeah, there's the window shield, that's all fine. A little bit of scuffs and bumps, but it'll come up in the wash. Oh, another tyre. So, all I need washing. Anything else to go in here? They can go in. They can go up there. Right. Off to the stripper. Caustic sign. <laughs> and as ever, guys, I know I say it all the time, but this stuff's very dangerous, so boiling water, obviously, you know, danger. But the caustic soda gets on your skin and it will irritate and burn, so safety first, gloves, respirator, ventilated area, you know the drill. Just be careful. So in with the caustic. Nice reaction straight away, it's a good sign, very good sign. I've noticed lately though, all this froth that you get on the top, I think it's like if, it, if a model's got like a lot of clear coat on or varnish or whatever, I think that's what that is once you have a reaction, it froths up a lot. And like the, the other models that have like got a matte finish on them, it doesn't do that. It, you can see like the models, you can see the paint coming off, but when it's all frothy, I think it's down to the coat and the, the final finish they've done. So, Apologies for all the froth and the scum on the top and you can't really see what you usually can, so we'll try and scoot it out the way a little bit. But I think it's working here. This red, red, thing, red paint's been a bit tough as well. Oh no, it's working, it's fine. It's just me being a little bit impatient. Okay, you can go back in for a bit. It's gonna be a bit awkward to see this silver, whether that's come off or not, as like as you know, once it all stripped down. It looks pretty similar colour to what it is now. Yeah, that's coming off fine, actually, that's nice and simple. Yeah, it'd be all right. Okay, so I'll put it back on the table and see what we've got. Right, all the main stuff turned out okay, all this stuff. But this, <laughs> you'll notice it's got a little paint on because as it was in the soda and I realised I'd left the bloody wheel on and I was terrified it was going to melt the plastic, so I had to quickly whip it out and rinse it off, so that's going to have to be taken care of a different way, so I'll put that to one side. But everything else, it's all there. Uh, it all come up good. So, time to clean it up properly. So, I'm not going to sit here and bore you with all these pieces getting done, so I'll, I'll just show you the process a little bit on this one. I say it's a bit awkward as well. These bloody pins fly off everywhere from these little wheels. End up everywhere. So to, you have to sort of hold them in a certain way to prevent it. It doesn't 100% prevent it, but it, it helps, you know. And as I say, like doing it like this far in front of you at a weird angle, it, it's not helping. So I'll just do a little bit and then I'll do the rest off camera and then I'll bring it back to you once it's all done. You probably see a few of the little pins flying off and the camera picks it up. You can feel them in your face, and I always wear the goggles when I do this, because I would like to know what it felt like to go in your eye, but I can imagine it to be really bad. I'll get all this done. And there we go. And I'm using Vallejo Metallic. Over, you're going to notice as well these little hopper doors are going to start blowing about everywhere. The reason I'm doing it this way today is because I've got three projects on at the same time. So the other two projects are taking up all my clamps to do the stuff that's being sprayed. So I've got no more water clamps or nothing to hold everything on. So I'll just have to make do. So 
apologies for this stuffy way it's being done but it's the only thing I could do and it gives you a better close up as well as the way things are going to be and um, I do the main pockets first and then I'll lower the pressure down and the, um, the compressor down so I think I went down to about 16, 8 and 10 to the side you still blow about a little bit but it's more controllable <coughs> But yeah, I, I love this stuff. This is what I have painted. It's a beautiful looking fan of the I'm really nice. And she's perfect for me. She just feels great for me. So I'll show you like the first coat of the little skin right here. And then I'll add now that I'll cut them to the, uh, the video once everything's all done. Just to give you an idea of how I do it really. Yeah, I, used to, I, I normally spray it around 20, 25, depending really on the paint and how it's applying, but this is the least spray it. So I, I think it was around, yeah, about 20 PSI, and that's obviously that's the lower because all the little bits of it are going over here, you can see it there. subscribers who dedicate themselves to watch my videos every week and leave comments and a like and welcome to any new subscribers that are here and if you haven't yet subscribed and you're enjoying the content then please hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe and even better hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of future content and you won't miss out on anything so thank you very much everyone for watching all the time and as I say I do appreciate everyone and don't be shy, excuse me, don't be shy and leave a comment. I will get back to you. And I appreciate everybody, everybody's time. So thank you for that. And I hope everybody's staying safe as well. Take care of yourselves. And you can lower this pressure down. Put things low and everything. It's, it's really low this because you know it's not about eight but it's as you can see it's still blowing around the little bit it's not too bad
So this is what we started with. Scruffy battered up play worn truck with its two hoppers. And here's the final reveal. A little bit of detail on the front. Beautiful paint job. And it turned out pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. If you did, as I say, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Take care yourselves. Bye bye.